good scooter, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Adam22 might not be the most talented guy in the world, but damn it, when it comes to the black market, he knows how to get himself out there. He's a very intelligent man, and he's done this largely off the backs of blacks, in particular, black men. How has he done this? Well, he's come in and he's administrated the social media economy of African-American men because largely we refuse to do it for ourselves. So he's come in, put the system together, used us as talent because we don't like to really, uh, maybe, we, maybe we want to be on the microphone and not be behind the microphone. So he's done that. And then also he's used and monetized off something that I've never seen many white men do which is monetizing the black penis. Now, listen to me. I'm, we're not going to get into no funny discussions, but this is what he's done. His wife, <coughs> who is Lena, the plug, had this scene with Jason Love. Jason Love, if you look at him, he reminds me of the typical, you know, black guy. Cool. All the girls like him. You know, gold chains on probably doesn't reinvest into any business he you know goes around just you know he's the guy that every girl wants to sleep with he's that guy he relies largely upon charisma maybe the look i don't know something that they would say right but adam 22 being the brilliant guy that he is <clears throat> look man you can sleep with my wife and we're gonna monetize you so you know the black guy feels good and he had so many black men calling this guy a simp calling this guy a cuck how could he let this black man sleep with his wife and all of that Meanwhile, this guy is making all kind of money on Snapchat, the, the, all on these other adult sites. And Jason Love gets paid one time. <clears throat> okay? Th this lady is not going to leave her husband for Jason Love. And, I, and, and that's what you know, a lot of unsuccessful black men like to think about. Well, you know, I got the BBC. You know, I can do this in the bedroom. I mean, it, it, it'll get you somebody's wife for a night or two. It won't keep you. I'm here to tell you that it won't keep you, but it's okay. You can think however you want. If that was the case, if black men can change the world with their BBC, then we would have taken over the world a long time ago. Then then white people will be, will be speaking Swahili or Luganda or Igbo language, but they are not for the most part, unless they really want to. We are the ones speaking English. So um, having a big phallus or athletics or game, it has limitations. <clears throat> and so now what Adam 22 has decided to do, thanks to Jason Love, and uh, other black men who would love to do anything with his wife is they're going to have a reality show, which these guys compete and they will win to sleep with the wife in a male to male female huh, conglomerate, if you will. All right. So you guys can understand how that's going to happen on camera too. 10 men. I can guarantee you five will be black. Five will be black. As much criticism as people are talking about. Let me tell you, this is going to make a lot of money. It's going to make the millions. And who's going to be monetized? The blacks. Because everybody in the black sector is going to be talking about how much of a simp he is. You know, look at these guys. But who's making the money? You see, that's how cold other races can be or other people can be. You know, they're calculated. Look, let me, let me get my wife up and I'm going to monetize these black guys because they can't see what the trick is we're trying to run. We have literally helped this guy make a million dollars a month in LA. He's come into an area that is heavily gang prevalent. Gang violence is prevalent. Drugs is prevalent. It's dangerous there. He walks around in the hoods. Black guys take him there. <clears throat> they, people don't dare to want to fight him or beat him up. Don't even dare. Don't even think about it. It's the white man. He's put his whole family on. He's monetized black men in a way that nobody has done on YouTube, on podcasts, that income, AdSense, then on the other uh, the adult thing. Oh man, he's done it in a, in a major way. He's not done yet. And when the white guy does this, we don't have a problem with it. We got a problem when we do it to each other though. Let, let's just say, for example, you got a business and you're getting money. Oh no. If, 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 if you got it, oh no, I need it. I got to hate on you. Oh, no, brother. No, we can't have you being successful, man. We got we got to stop that somehow. We need to pause that because 
the black man, I don't want to see him with nothing. I don't want to see him with nothing. He can't have anything. I got to have it. That's how, that's how we think as blacks. That's how we think as blacks. If you have it, mm -mm, I got to have it also. But the, but these other people come in and say, look, these blacks, we got an opportunity here. We can get our money, our wealth here, and we can take it from them. And then we can take, we, we can't get, even get on our own community. We don't need to. Let's go over to where they're at. We can use their money and make ourselves rich. We can use our, we can get their money and use and make ourselves rich. We can send our kids to Harvard, Stanford, everything off the backs of the blacks. They have an economy they're working with. You see all of that and more. That is what we can do. And that's exactly what's happening. That is exactly what is transpiring family. That's what's happening right now. And the black man is going around thinking that this guy is a simp. No, he's far from it. He's the simp is you and it's us because we won't get out here and do nothing for our community and work with our guys. So he comes in and he, he, he not even just taking advantage of, you know, just, uh, well, the, the, the community. No, he's monetizing you too, because if it was his community, he would never let you get over there. He's given opportunities to you and your own community. This guy didn't grow up with us, but he knows that now we've shown him how, to, how it works. And largely we don't got no problem with it. It's fine. And, and we think that, 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 that he's a sucker. We could never let our woman think, do that. You know, I bang somebody else's wife, but they can't. That's all you're thinking about is how, how you can, how you can take somebody's wife and do something with her in the bedroom. That's what you're thinking about. He doesn't think about that. He's looking at money. He's looking at investment. He's looking at opportunities. That is you. The only person, the only person who's thinking about silly stuff like that is us. That's why we don't have anything as black men. Because when we don't work together, they come in and they own us. Then we want to call, talk about, complain about, uh oh, here he goes. That favorite phrase, culture vulturing. Well, you can't culture vulture when you invest in your own community to do things, right? When you want to invest in your own stuff, then can't nobody culture vulture you. When you see a need in your community and you, and you match the need to what needs to be there, you cannot talk about culture vulturing. You can't talk about it because it can't exist. How can a culture vulture exist when the men in the community are, can you go to China and set up something in China that no, Japan, no, even go to Chinatown, go set up a business in Chinatown as a black person. See how, see how nobody will buy anything from you there. <laughs> you, 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 we all know that we all have an understanding of that. If you go to Dubai, you better go there with an international business to get the international dollars. No other group will let you monetize their community, but us. That's what we do. Then we all we care about is who 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 girl we got. His girl think his girl want me. I'm gonna get his girl in the bed. Huh, man, they, listen. Some of these other guys out here, you can have a wife. You can listen. I they they can always say I get no. <laughs> I got your community though. I got your economy. You can't even reinvest into your people because of me. But if black men had the money and the economy for them, they can reinvest into their group. You can create whatever you wanted to see for your own people. But now that vehicle that that, that Adam 22 got, you can't, no, no, that money's his. It can't be reinvested, do nothing for black people. And guess who allowed it? Us. So guys, what do you think it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you discovered the bell. We're out.